Hey guys, Steve Long here with ER Long Associates Inc. Going to take a few minutes for an education on water repellents. Why? So that you, the contractor, hardscaping contractor, masonry contractor, restoration contractor, have a little bit of knowledge to convey to your client that proves that you know a little bit more about what you're doing than your competitor. And use it as an add-on or use it as something you're going to do for free just to make your job better. And of course, we can uh, apply these materials vertically as well as horizontally. And with the growth in hardscaping, there's a lot more masonry that can be treated. And here's a go-to product, Siloxane PD, water-based material. It is a siloxane silane blend, which works on numerous surfaces, which we'll discuss after we talk about what that smaller molecular size does for us. So check this out. This is a profile of masonry up close. You can see that these products with their small molecular size penetrate into the masonry and will actually make that first one eighth of an inch to quarter inch of masonry water repellent. Because of that, it takes longer for UV to break it down. It breaks it down from the outside in. So even though it breaks down up here, this part down here is still water repellent. The other great part of it is, is vapor permeable. Silane and siloxanes come from silica and they are uh, inorganic and they are vapor permeable. The other thing is higher surface tension does not allow for, moist, for moisture and bulk water to wet out and therefore it doesn't come in as easily as on porous surfaces. So a lot of things going on here for, with this type of product that help us. And Siloxane PD will work with the majority of masonry products, with the exception of limestones and marbles, which are calcareous, and porous CMU, masonry block. And here are the products for marble, limestone, and block. All right, let's check out an application using uh, a stucco wall with Siloxane PD. And as you can see, I'm coming across with a pump-up sprayer and a wand, and applying this so that it saturates into the surface and actually gets about a four to five inch rundown. Now, if I do get the product on non-masonry surfaces such as glass or on uh, other substrates, I just need to clean with uh, soap and water immediately after applying um, the product. Now, it's going to take about six hours to cure enough so that we are protected from rain. About 24 to 48 hours, I'm going to get this kind of effect. Where on the left-hand side, you can see I'm running water on. Uh, it's been treated and it's staying dry. And the right-hand side, which is untreated, is wetting out. Penetrating repellents like siloxanes and silanes will not give you a gloss or a wet look. They will give you a natural appearance of the masonry surface. So this is the time we talk about acrylic sealers, right? So that wet look, that gloss look, what, it, what creates that is an acrylic. What is an acrylic? It's different than the penetrating siloxane silane uh, repellents we've been talking about. It is a organic product. It's acryls, which is basically plastic being suspended in water or in solvent. And on the left-hand side here, where my cursor is, is a newly uh, wetted out substrate. Now, it's being carried by water, all these little pieces, but as the water or solvent starts to evaporate and leave, it shrinks up and layers out and becomes a film. So once it's all evaporated, you're left with just the plastic resin and fillers over top of the masonry substrate. And this is what gives you the gloss. Hey, so now we can see we just learned about coalescing and how an acrylic works. And you can see a thicker, when it gets thicker, those acrylics, they have a good chance of entrapping that vapor that's trying to dry to the exterior in the slab or in the wall, and then it gets caught underneath that uh, acrylic coating. Now with the growth of outdoor kitchen space, let's take a look at a product that protects against moisture, but also protects against stains, wine, food stains. And we'll wrap up with the SLX100. It is a 100% silane. So that silane is the smallest molecular size. And it penetrates deeply into very dense surfaces such as granite. So it'll work on granite and stone and different masonry substrates. This has an oil ingredient in it, protectant, which is called an oleophobic material. Protects against food stains, oil stains. 
Doesn't mean you can lay oil and wine on it for 24 hours. You still got to get it cleaned up. So now you understand there's a number of different products and how they work, and they're different than sealers. So next time you talk to your client, you have a little bit more knowledge to give.